Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you can see there, the US 30 had a doji formation appear there on Friday as it tried to break through potential resistance at 17.895. Um, but we're slightly surging forward this morning again. Most markets are up a bit higher. UK 100 in particular as crude oil. Brent breaks above 60. I think it's about $62 a barrel. And even West Texas crude right now is about $58 as we got some extra consensus over the weekend that um, many analysts now are kind of saying that they're, they're expecting Brent crude specifically to stay above $60 a barrel. That doesn't mean that's going, necessarily going to happen as um, there's a major uh, Reuters analyst has basically come out and said the floor is $40 a barrel um, and he would he doesn't expect there to be much move above um, 60 for any long period of time. So depending on who you speak to, you know, I'll have to wait and see what happens with uh, West Texas crude and Brent. But the global equity markets are cheering the shorter week and uh, moving up to the upsides. But certainly 17,895 is what to look at on the US 30. Moving on to the UK 100, we are pretty much bang on potential resistance at 65,89, which is also that 21 period SMA. We get a break and close above that and we'll be targeting 66,86. We got a crossover in the MACD. RSI is neutral and the slow capacity there. Didn't quite go into oversold territory, but it's quite close to it. Uh, but it does look to be trying to push on that little bit higher, even in the intraday charts as well. So what's dollar yen? So dollar yen pushing up higher. So Japan two to five. Uh, well, it's not really doing a huge amount today, but I had a decent day there on Friday. Um, we're still looking at the tip of this candle right here, but 18,306 is the next potential resistance springboard slash support around about 17,496. So let's look at that dollar yen. So dollar yen is at 119.80-ish. Um, we're getting uh, a good, a good um, kind of uptick right there. 21.85 is the potential short-term resistance followed by 24. 42 with uh, 119 now expect if there is a retracement that will be an interesting potential support level for traders looking to instigate new long positions on dollar yen to look at so let's have a look at west texas crude this morning so we've finally been able to break the the habit of these long like negative candles the last four sessions a real positive end to uh, to friday um we're moving a little bit higher this morning but i'll be completely honest uh, i'm not looking at the day charts it, it, it it's kind of dipped down and moved back up again um if we can get above 89 dollars and get a close above that that makes things a little bit more uh, interesting there there has been resistance in play here this is broken support and i expect the tactics resist, uh, as resistance i can't really get too excited about west texas crude on the top side until we start breaking some of these levels um some of these potential resistance levels and getting a close above it so what's been happening with gold well gold's been doing absolutely nothing the last couple of days pretty much non-event 1186 potential support even the moving averages are flatlining right now all of the technical indicators are neutral uh Dollar strength will be will be adding pressure onto this. U.S. interest rates talk will be adding pressure onto this. I just can't see there being a big mass rally on gold anytime soon. So it could move sideways for a little while. So moving on to um, euro dollar and GBP USD. So euro dollar been quite volatile actually. So um, we did actually close below short term support at one spot twenty two forty eight, but we tipped our head right above there again uh, this morning might only just be transitory. So we're still looking at one spot, 2047 is the next potential support level to be aware of. But we do have uh, Eurozone PMI and US home sales today, uh, which could be quite interesting for, for your dollar. Fast forward on to Tuesday, actually, you can see we've got a uh, UK balance of payments, UK GDP, um, basically more stuff for, for cable rather than your dollar, but nevertheless, still quite interesting. So cable's also had a little bit of a jump, looks to be one spot 56, is quite firmly a potential support level. Um, which has been building over the last, it seems to be almost the last month. Um, we've not had a, a significant break and close below and then a follow through to target one spot at 54 or 24. Um, but we do have some macro data coming out. So that's certainly the pivot level to be aware of. We're a good bit away from one spot 57, 43. We're probably more likely to challenge is one spot 56. Um, if the fundamentals come out to be a little bit more negative. So it's an Eurozone PMI and US home sales today. And then a balance of payments and G GDP for the UK on Tuesday, and then GDP in the US later on at night, durable goods as well. So there's a fair amount of US data. And on Wednesday, I think begins to quiet up, quiet up a little bit more US employment data and then crude oil inventories before we get to Christmas Day. As ever, keep your uh, eyes on the chart forum, make insights part of your layer going forward, and join me again after the Christmas holidays to find out what happened next.